can't believe she was okay with me coming here. Not complaining, though. She's got a nice place. Nicer than mine, that's for sure. Alright, let's double check everything I brought. Notebooks, the textbooks, extra pens, pencils, even the flashcards I made for her. She better put as much effort into this tutoring thing as I am. I didn't even charge her my normal fee since we kind of know each other. I think it'll be more than worth it, though. I have a little something in mind to make it more entertaining. Hey, I'm supposed to do some tutoring. This was the address I was given. Just come right in. Okay, then. Wow, this is beautiful. The ceilings are so tall. I didn't know your family was loaded. Them being away a lot sucks. That reminds me, is it just us for today? Cool, cool. Guess that means there's no one here to stop me. From teaching physics in the most effective way possible. What do you think I was going to say? <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. Yes, it is. It lives in the gutter. Well, anyway, where do you want to set up? I wouldn't even know where to start. There's so many rooms. Your room? Jeez, you really want a piece, don't you? I don't blame you. I would too if I were you. So you don't like me at all? Didn't say that. Well, what did you say? <laughs> Quiet now, huh? I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. <laughs> You're all red. No, I'm not shutting up. This is my payment since I didn't make you pay my normal fee. Sure, I'd love to do it just because we're kind of friends, but this is way more entertaining. You make the best faces. Okay, okay, I'm getting off track. Let's head up there and get to study. I promise I'm strictly business when it comes to your education. On second thought, I take it back. I'll continue teasing. <laughs> You're getting a free tutoring session from a college-level educated guy, after all. Don't say that. I'll make this fun. So just try and pay attention. You obviously don't do it in class. Thank you. So this is your room, huh? Nothing too out of the ordinary. Except it's about twice the size of mine, but whatever. I half expected pictures of me all over the walls. Well, let's see. You invited me over here alone to the mansion you live in just to study? That's stalker material right there if I've ever seen it. I'm still not sure if I'm going to get out of here alive, let alone with my fragile innocence still intact. <laughs> Enough joking. Let's get started. I usually make my victims take a little mock test first so I can get a grasp on what they need help with. And this will be no different. I put one together last night. Here it is. No, no complaining. It's only like 20-some questions anyways. Most multiple choice. I'll be here if you need anything. Stuck on the last question? Let me take a look. Would you ever consider dating your tutor? I don't know why you're stuck on it. It's a pretty easy one. Okay, let me check them over. Okay, okay. Looks good. You got a couple wrong, but the last one, the one you needed help with, sticks out to me. You put a no and a face with the tongue sticking out. The correct answer is obviously yes, and the face, honestly impressive. I'm not mad about that one. I'll just chalk up that question to a lapse in judgment. Well, other than that, it doesn't seem that bad. Looks like I'll need some extra help with electricity and Ohm's Law. Maybe some angular momentum stuff if we get to it. But I doubt it'll be today, though. They're both pretty tough concepts. Lucky for you, I specialize in electricity, so we'll start with that. I have a few problems for you to do in this textbook. 
but first let's review the variables and equations with some flashcards. Yes, yes, I know, I can be very professional when I want to. Where are they? Ah, got it. Here we go. What does this letter mean? Volt, right? That one was easy. This one? Coulomb? And what is it really? Like, what does it stand for? Okay, it's an ampere second. We'll get more into that later. What is this symbol? Okay, an omega. You got it. But what's it called in electricity? It's an ohm. It measures resistance. Were you asleep in class this whole unit? Okay, another easy one. Amps. You got it. We'll do one more. What does this K mean? Here's a hint. It's not a variable. <sighs> I'm not getting paid enough for this. <laughs> I'm joking. That one was Planck's constant. Pops up a couple times in important equations. I'll tell you what, you got a lot to work on. Your looks may have gotten you this far, but you're going to have to put your brain in gear for this. I'll still give you the practice problems from the textbook to see how bad it really is. Skip past what? Oh, that. Well, you're a very attractive gal in pretty advanced classes and have done well up until this point. I thought it was obvious you used a less conventional way to get there. But hey, nothing wrong with that. You do you. What? No. There's no way. You're smart and pretty? <laughs> I'm sorry, you're all red now. Ah, just take a few deep breaths, and we'll take a break. I brought a couple snacks, too. Just in case you have me work up an appetite. You want one? I got a couple of the little Pringle cans. Mm, salt and vinegar, or sour cream and onion? Good. I wanted this one anyway. So, what do you like doing outside of school? I know that's really the only time we talk or hang out, so I don't really know much. You certainly have a lot of options without the money constraint. Horseback riding, huh? Never done that before. Sounds kind of scary. I figured. It's still impressive you're doing it. I should have known, though. What do I mean? Well, it's... It's like the classic hobby of all upper-class ladies, and you, miss, are included. And I bet that means you're really good at riding things, huh? <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. That was a pretty good one, though. I saw those trophies over there earlier. Is that from the horseback riding stuff? It is? Cool. Equestrian? Equestrian. Got it. We're both learning something now. Me? Well, tutoring, obviously. I like gardening and woodworking, too. All very fulfilling hobbies. I can show you some of the pics I have on my phone. Mmm, -mm, interested in my hobbies, too. Points for that one. Here's my garden. Nice, I know. You don't need to say it. And some woodworking stuff. I like making raised garden beds for my garden, and handles from old tool heads laying around. I'm sure I'll branch off into other stuff like tables or cabinets, but that's later. Thanks, I do enjoy it. You ready for the textbook problems? Okay, here they are. Just do uh, one through five for now. Here's the equation sheet that goes with it. I hope you brought your calculator. Good. I'll be here if you have any questions. Jeez, finished already? Let me see. 
Yeah, the answers are in the back of the book, so I don't even need to work them out. No, not looking good so far. That one's not even close. Now that I look closer, what the heck is that? An ohm sign? <laughs> it certainly doesn't look like it. Do you not know how to write it? <sighs> Give me your hand. I'll write it with you. No, stop being weird. Just gimme. Okay. You start with this little wing on the bottom. And you start making a big old circle. Like this. But don't finish it. Just when you're about to. Make another little wing. Going the other way. Then boom. Omega. <laughs> ah, you look like a tomato. I really doubt you soaked any of this in. We'll work on it tomorrow too. Hello? Anybody in there? Sweetheart, stop daydreaming about me holding onto your hand and get back to learning. I got a lot to work on. There we go. Done daydreaming? <laughs> I suppose we'll start from the beginning. No, not that far back. Alright. A good way to think about electricity in a wire is to think about water flowing through a pipe. Volts is the electric pressure, kind of like the water pressure in a pipe. Amps measure how fast the electricity is flowing through the pipe. Electric fields and electromagnetism, Faraday's law, gets used a lot more, and it starts to bring in some calculus as well, which I'm not sure your course covers. I'll check tomorrow, though. I think that's about it. We'll do some more problems tomorrow, and I'll help you work them out, now that we have the concepts down. <laughs> yes, we're done for today. I think I've lectured you out. You look beat. But first, let's finish up with some flashcards. Oh, come on. I went through all the effort to make them. We can't not use them. It's on the stuff we just went over. I'll give you a reward at the end, if you get them all right. <laughs> all serious now, are we? What kind of reward? I'll do any one thing you'd like. Nothing too crazy or lewd. I know your mind lives in the gutter, but still, we have standards here. An example, huh? If you wanted me to get you a candy bar for today's hard work, I'd bring it in tomorrow. Just try to keep it tame, all right? Okay, here we go. A circuit where current is split. Parallel, right, good job. A circuit where voltage is split across devices. I'm serious, I told you this wouldn't be hard. What is electric power expressed as? Watts, nice. Copper versus aluminum, which has less resistance. Copper. Now you even know how to write resistance properly. <laughs> what does AC mean? Alternating current, correct. Now what does DC mean? Direct current, you got it. And finally, on average, how many electrons are used in an American home? Ah, that's a good girl. I was sure I'd get you on that one, but zero was right. Electrons aren't really used, for lack of a better term. <laughs> you look like a tomato again. Was it the good girl comment? I knew I'd get you with that one, even if the question didn't. Alright. What's your request, my lady? I eagerly wait your every command. You want me to what? You want me to call you a good girl again? Call you my good girl? And pat your head? Okay, first off, that's two things. And second, didn't I tell you to keep it tame? You are down horrendous, aren't you? <laughs> okay, don't start begging. 
I'll do it. But remember, this is just because of the reward thing. Let me get a little closer. You're my good girl, aren't you? Oh, I kind of like this. You did such a good job today. This is your reward for doing so well. My good girl. You're so smart and pretty. Thanks for doing such a good job for me today. All right, that's your fill. Nope, you'll just have to keep at it. Maybe I'll give you another opportunity. I think I was getting a little too into it anyway. Well, I gotta get going. It's almost dark. It'll give you some time to cool off. <laughs> you should have seen your face while I was doing that. Same time tomorrow? You bet. I'll see you then.